Hi everyone, Monique here, Little Gems Creations 1. Today we are going to be making a striped extra small dog sweater. And we're going to start that in just a moment. everyone, Monique here, Little Gems Creations 1. Today we are going to be making an extra small dog sweater. So this will fit a dog that weighs up to 5 pounds or a cat that weighs up to 5 pounds. Um, we start from the bottom and we work our way up to the, you finish off with the neck. And yeah. So today I'm going to be using this Red Heart um, with love. I don't know if it's still available. It's an old ball of yarn I've had kicking around for a bit. So I'm using yellow. It's getting close to Easter, so I'm trying to do a bit of an Easter theme. <clears throat> and then I'm using Red Heart Comfort, and this is a white, it's medium four ply worsted weight yarn, and the color is white opal. You're going to need a five millimeter crochet hook. Now at this point, I just want to let you know that if you want to make this sweater just a bit smaller, you can use a 4.5 size crochet hook. And if you want to make it a bit bigger, you can go 5.5. I wouldn't go larger than a six millimeter crochet hook for this weight of yarn. And I wouldn't go smaller than a four millimeter crochet hook for this weight of yarn. The smaller the size the hook, the less um, give your stitches will have. It will be smaller, but it won't be stretchy by any means, okay? So this is my happy medium. I go with a five millimeter crochet hook. I'll put a link in the description for the this particular, this is one of my favorite crochet hooks. It's an Addy. Um, I'll put my affiliate link for Amazon to this crochet hook in the description. Also in the description, eventually, not right away, but eventually you will get the written pattern, a link to the written pattern for this sweater. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna start with our yellow. Okay. And we're gonna chain 40. Now this is how I do a chain. Everyone does it different. I don't do a slip knot. A lot of people do slip knots. I don't. I just cross my yarn and then I pull through and that counts as my first chain. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Whoops, 20. Halfway there. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39 and 40. There we go. So now without twisting your stitches, you're going to go back to that very first chain and you're going to slip stitch into it. Okay, so back to my first slip stitch and I'm going to chain up two. One, two. Okay, now I'm going to do half double crochets in each chain. So yarn over into the stitch, pull through, yarn over, go through all three loops. That's a half double crochet. We're gonna make 40 of these, okay? So yarn over into the chain, pull through, yarn over, go through all three loops. Let's do it one more time. Yarn over into the chain, pull through, yarn over, go through all three loops. Do 40 stitches and meet me back. So I've done 40 stitches 
So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to slip stitch with my other color into that second chain. There we go. Then I'm going to chain up two. One, two. I am not, do not cut your yarn because we're going to bring it up along the inside so we have fewer threads to hide. Now I'm going to continue with half double crochets around. Just like we did with that first row. And I'm taking the whole stitch. So I'm going through both. See, going through both. Someone was asking me the other day with one of the patterns if they were only supposed to go in the back. Now you can just go in the back loop, but that will give you a different look. So if you're going for the look of the picture, then you want to do it how I'm showing you. Okay, so do 40 and meet me back at the other side. Okay guys, so I've gone around and I've got my 40 stitches. Now, the way I prevent my stitches from going wonky when I join is I alternate going into the chain and then in the next row I go in the stitch. So the first we went in the chain, this time we're going to skip those two chains and we're going to go into the stitch to do our slip stitch. But we're taking our yarn, our yarn from the beginning, and we're using it to slip stitch. And we're just bringing it along gently so it doesn't distort the stitches. We're going to chain up two. You can give that white or whatever color you're using a little tug to get it to sit down nicely. And then we're just going to go to the next stitch and we're going to do another 40. Now, when you get to this side, you're going to be right up close to the chain two if you've done your 40 stitches and that's fine. And then for this, this row, this round, you'll go into the chain two. So you're always alternating. So all of you for, for this to use these colors, I will always go into yellow, the chain stitch for the white. Okay, we're going to do 12 rounds total. So we've done two, we've started our third. We're going to do 12 rounds total and then we're going to meet back. Okay, so I've done my 12 rows and now I'm going to slip into the stitch. We're going to chain up two. At this point, you can cut your contrasting yarn, okay? Because we're done with it now. Now we're just going to, for me, I'm just going to use the yellow for the rest of the sweater. Okay. So what we're going to do, still working in half double crochets, and we're never counting that chain two as a stitch. I don't know if I mentioned that in the beginning. Okay, so we're going to pick up 20 stitches. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Now we're just going to work back and forth on these 20 stitches. So we're going to chain up two. We're going to turn our work. What we have done is we, this is the back, okay? The back of your dog sweater. 
Now, if you wanted to continue on with stripes, you can do that. Um, but then you're going to have a lot of ends to weave in. And I really hate weaving in ends. So I just, for this part, I just do the main color. So we turned our work. Now we're just going to do half double crochets across. You should end up with 20. And we're going to do this for a total of six rows. So we've got one two and we want a total of six so six rows and then meet me back i'm back and i've got my six rows one two three four five six i'm gonna make a big loop i'm gonna take my scissors cut my yarn very gently i'm putting my tail through my loop and i'm just pulling it too because we're gonna pick this out later so don't pull it tight Okay, going back to the stitches we did not do, we are going to, so see this one here has a stitch in it, so we're going in this one. We're going to grab our yarn. So how I do that is I hold my yarn at the back, see with my middle finger I'm holding it down. I pull through, make a loop, and then I do that, that's my first chain. We're going to chain two. Chains never count as stitches in this sweater. So we're going to pick up 20 half double crochets. So two, three, four, and this is the chest we're working on now. Five, six. So when you're reading my pattern, this will be like row 1B because, um, yeah, we're doing rows now. But you'll see that in the pattern. Okay. So we're picking up 20 stitches and I stopped counting. What the heck? I stopped counting. Okay, this should be 20 stitches, but you know what? When in doubt, count. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, eighteen, nineteen. 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 19. See? Let's try again. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 19. Because we don't count the chain 2 as a stitch. So, I'm going to go one more. You need to have 20. Okay, now I'm going to chain up two. Now we're going to start decreasing at each end of the row. Okay, so here's how I do a decrease. Yarn over into this stitch, pull through. Yarn over into the next stitch, pull through. I've got five loops. One, two, three, four, five loops. See that? I'm going yarn over and I'm going through all five loops. So what I did there is I turned two stitches into one. So we did 20 stitches. We're gonna go down to 18 in this row. So that counts as one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, so I'm doing my 17th stitch and we only want 18 in this row, so the last two stitches I'm turning into one. So to do that decrease, we yarn over into the stitch, pull through, yarn over into the next stitch, pull through. Five loops, one, two, three, four, five loops, 
yarn over, go through all five loops. That was our 18th stitch. We're chaining up two, we're turning our work, and we're going right back into another decrease. So I'll show you again. Yarn over into the stitch, pull through, yarn over into the next stitch, pull through. Five loops, one, two, three, four, five loops. Yarn over, go through all five loops. That turned two stitches into one. This row is gonna have 16 stitches. So you're gonna decrease at the other end. You're gonna keep doing this back and forth until you're down to 10 stitches. Do that, meet me back. So I've gotten down to 10. Now here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take our working yarn and we're gonna reach to that back panel and we're gonna slip stitch into the chain two. Okay, slip stitch, and we're gonna chain up two. One, two, make your loop big. Now you remember where I said don't pull a tight knot? We're gonna go there, pick out our knot, grab that loop, and here we're gonna go and slip stitch into the chain two. Okay, and using our tail, we're just doing that slip stitch. Make your loop big and now pull your tail through and pull tight this time. And you can just tuck that in to get it out of our way. So what we've just done is we made our little leg holes. See? Okay. So now, taking our yarn, sorry, I was twisted. We are gonna just work 30 half double crochet around for three rounds. So half double crochet, you're gonna, it should work out to 30 because we have 10 stitches from the chest and 20 stitches from the back. So 30 stitches, not counting the chain two. So 30 stitches for three rows. Um, I suggest alternating Um, I suggest alternating with the slip stitch going into the chain and stitch. But at this point, it's not a big deal because your stitches don't have very many rows to variate. To like go wonky. Wonky, I must say, is a technical term, just so you know. Okay, so three rows for the neck and meet me back. Okay, so I've done my three rounds. Now I'm gonna slip stitch into that chain two. Make a long loop, leave a bit of a tail, pull through my loop, and we're done, you guys. Isn't this sweater just adorable? So now hide your threads and you're done. If you want, you could put an iron-on patch. You could put some buttons in this little yellow space here. Or you could do it just like this. I think just like this looks adorable. But I'm a, I'm a minimalist, so I, I don't care for a ton of design. But if you want to, you can go nuts. You can put flowers, you can put bows, you can put buttons, you can put whatever you want. And that is the pattern. So look in the description to find a link for this crochet hook because it is my absolute favorite. My hand doesn't get nearly as cramped as when I use just the plain metal hooks. And I will also put a link to the written pattern available in my Etsy store. And yeah, thanks so much for watching guys. And I really do value all of my viewers so very much. Thank you and have a great day. Bye now.